If you're having any issues with sculpting or shaping, I might have some solutions for you. I'm gonna show you the steps of the Apri Gel X nail system. Let's get started. I just wanna thank Apri Nails for sending me the kit and sponsoring this video. Can't wait to dive in and see what's in here. This kit is adorable. It's got a little handle. I love it actually. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh, look at this tiny. This is the officially the tiniest little gel lamp I have ever seen. Very cute. And look at the underside. <laughs> okay, so there's the top coat, the extend gel, which is what we're going to stick the tip with, the primer and the dehydrator, and a good file. Okay. And here is the coffin long. That is, that's great. That's what's gonna help our shaping big time. And we've got this little cord for the little lamp. Okay, Okay. so that's handy. That's a USB uh, connector you have to have. And then you just plug it in. Oh, wow, it's so cute. That doesn't take up much room on the desk. Okay, so like most kit boxes, they are numbered and they go from the, which is always thought was weird, the bigger size is number one and it goes up to 10, which is the smallest size. So we're gonna have to fit that. I need my glasses. Okay, so let's set that aside for a sec and we're gonna take the file. And I just gotta prep the nail, get it all ready. Oh, there is instructions in there. Let me grab that box again. I always like to, even though I know how to do most of this stuff, every company has their own little steps they'd like you to follow. And you don't want to miss one because if you do, it could make all the difference in, in adhesion or it's just not wearing right for you. So we're going to leave those right there. So it's they've got a nice little file here and one side is 100 grit and the other side is 180. So I'm going to use the 180 side to prep the natural nail and you just ever so gently want to do that. I would wash your hands first. You can even clean the nail with some alcohol and then you want to start filing. And you just want to buff up gently all over the natural nail. I have done this beforehand with them all, just prepping the nails, getting them. I had to take my other nails off so I just prepped them already. Okay, so I'll do that with all of them. So the number one they want us to do is prep the nails. Um, prep method on natural nails. You wanna apply the pH bonder to the finger. This is the pH bonder. This is your dehydrator. non-acidic primer. Now when you put primers on as a general rule, you want to be careful not to oversaturate the nail. You just want to put it on the nail. Don't have to hit the skin or anything. You don't want to do that at all actually. So don't oversaturate. You don't want it to just soak it into the root of the nail, which is the matrix. <laughs> it was funny. I just was thinking in my head, where's my form? That's how used to sculpting I am. <laughs> this is just taken all that work out of it for you. You don't have to do any sculpting, basically. Apply the thin layer of Extend Gel onto the fingernail. Now we're just gonna put a thin layer of this. So I'm just gonna paint a really thin layer, like a layer of nail polish kind of thin. Make sure I get all of the nail. It's kind of on the thick side, which is good, I suspect. Okay. Now you get to use this adorable little lamp. Cure Extend Gel on the finger with the LED and cure it for 30 seconds. Okay. 
That is the tiniest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so that was 30 seconds, but I see something I probably should have done was fit the tip first because I don't know if you can touch this. I think you might be able to because fitting the tip is, you know, important. That, you know, once you fit the tip right, it's taken all the guesswork out of it for you. I'm usually around a six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to just size this up here. That looks pretty good. I think that is for me. This one finger is a bit bigger. So if I size this, yeah, I think that's gonna work for me. Now I notice the cuticle, I'm so picky with sculpting cuticles. So for me, that's where a tip system like this, a full on tip is either gonna make or break it for me because I want the cuticle to be nice and flush when it grows out and when it goes on. That's why I'm a little leery, but this looks like it might be, you want it to be nice and thin and it looks not too bad at all. And that's gonna fit me pretty good. Now, one thing I do like about the tip, I will say right out of the bat, over the years, like when they first came out, they were just horrible. But over the years, they have perfected tips that has got a nice arch, like a pinched look. Um, sometimes in the industry, we'll pinch the nails a little bit, like squeeze it together to give it a very natural look. And this is, just got a beautiful arch on it. So I, I do like that, I must say. And as a sculptor, I sculpt that in to every set that I do, but this is already there, so I don't have to do it, which is pretty cool. Okay, so it does say though, and I do know this, it, you will get better adhesion if it's roughed up a little bit. So number six, it says, file the underside contact surface of gel X tip. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, clearly we can't, get this under here. I mean, you could try, but that's not gonna. So I've just got a little drill here. I'm just gonna pick it up and just file a little bit. So I'm just gonna gently buff the underside with this. And I would think it says just enough to cover the natural nail. So just the part that's on the natural nail, you don't want it to be any longer than that. And that's because, you know, you don't want to see that roughed up version. Gives me a chance too to file that cuticle area a little bit thinner, which is what I have troubles with when it comes to tips. And, and I don't mean trouble doing it, I mean that I don't like it because the cuticle area can be thicker and that's what you can get when you're really good at sculpting. You can get it so it's nice and smooth, right? So I don't have to deal with that on the tip. So this way I can sort of file it a little bit, make it just a little bit smoother. I kind of like that idea. Okay, let me put this down. Okay, now I've done that. So I am going to now apply the Extend Gel enough to cover what I think estimating on my natural nail. So you have to put that amount inside the tip because then we're gonna slap it on the index finger. So we need to apply approximately this length. So if I put this on here like this, so I need to apply a product that's almost up to here because that's how long my natural nail bed is. I don't wanna do too much though because I don't want it to squirt out the underside which I could paint it away, I suppose. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna paint some of the Extend Gel right in there. This is a soft gel too, you guys, so you can soak this right off when you're finished with it, which is a bonus. Okay, I'll make sure that there's no bubbles in there. tip isn't coming off. This is actually using the gel to adhere to my nail to keep the tip on there. Okay, so the advice is when you press it on, you want to press out the bubbles. I'm putting it on to my natural nail, pressing it down. Now I've got to get it under the light. This is the hard part when you're just doing it yourself, right? So I'm gonna get the light over here. Keep your thumb down pressed on the gel nail. I'm gonna turn the light on now and I'm gonna press my finger on it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna stick it under there. It says for into the mini light for 10 seconds, then I can probably remove my finger. Then I have to rotate it so it catches it everywhere. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
I'm letting go now. I am gonna just clean up because I don't like that. It's squirted out all around there. Mino like that. Okay, turn that little guy on. Now I'm going to kind of just roll it back and forth a little. I'm just gonna rotate it. I will say you kind of don't want this the product to squirt out because it gets onto your finger. If that happens over and over and over over a long period of time, you can, you can, doesn't mean you will, get allergic to, it's called contact dermatitis if you keep touching the product over and over. Look at the arch on that, it's beautiful. So after you've done that, you wanna cure the whole hand for 30 seconds in an LED, which means you will have to do this little light each finger for 30 seconds. Well, it is beautiful and I don't have to shape it. I'm only concerned about that cuticle, what it looks like when it grows out. But that looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all the other ones on there. So I will say, because you have to press with a certain amount of pressure to release the bubbles under there, you don't want bubbles, but it does squirt a little bit of the product out onto the cuticle, which to me, again, remember my pet peeve, that's why I like sculpting, because I can make it super smooth. But I could just spend a little time smoothing the cuticle, so maybe that's what I'll do. But I have to say that it looks really pretty that way, and it's got a beautiful, perfect coffin shape. I don't have to do nothing to it. Now, one could say, well, if you put less product between having enough product in there not to have bubbles and not too much product to actually squirt out, you'd have to be like so perfect at that. And I suppose you would get better after you did, especially one hand over and over and over. You would get that estimation would probably be pretty right on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tip all the rest. Okay, so what I am gonna do is push the product away from the cuticle a little bit so it's not at the cuticle. I'm even holding it up this way a little bit so the product can just fall a little bit and I don't have so much of a concentration of product. These are the things I'm learning as I go. And I'm going to push and start at my cuticle and I'm gonna lean in and force the product to not flow out my cuticle but to flow toward the end of my nail. Okay, I'm getting better as I do it. I'm gonna size this one. One thing I did notice, my cuticle is a little bit narrower than, than some of these tips. So I think I'm just going to take this and see if I can do this. Might as well see what we can do. I'm just gonna narrow it a bit because my cuticle area is a little bit, on this particular finger, it's a bit narrower. Let's see if that fits me a bit better. Yeah, a lot better. Okay, but there is some dust in there, so I try to get rid of it. It's just the tip. Okay, now I'm gonna file it out again. And I'm kind of leaning the drill back a little bit to sort of thin that cuticle area out a little bit. It might work to my advantage, I think. Getting dust all over my cute little black light. The reason why I'm showing this to you guys is because anybody can buy this. And it is made very simple. It's taken a lot of the work out of it for you. But that's why I'm showing you too, because there's still a few things you gotta do to get the maximum out of its look. It's pretty cool. So don't forget, rotate your finger or rotate the lamp, one of the two. It's just to get all sides because the way this light is set, it's only one light inside the whole thing. A lot of lamps will have lights on the sides 
to capture the side, but this light does not. It just has the one. So by rotating it, it's making it that you can cure all the way around. And you just want to do that for 10 seconds because we're still going to do a 30 second cure at the end. Okay, one more finger and I'm just, it's a little pinky. That's a tiny one, I think that's like an eight. Yeah, it looks like that'll fit. Ooh. You gotta really press it in sometimes. Again, the cuticle's a little fatter than my cuticle is. So if you wanna just sort of custom do it a little bit, you can just, just trim off the side a little bit to try to fit it. This is what you call custom tips, eh? Tips are very, the product is very easy to file. I believe the tips is made out of gel too, so it's not plastic, it's actually made out of a gel. Okay, so I'm gonna get the drill and buff the inside again. If you don't have a drill, you could try to get a spongy piece of file and try to shove it up in there. <laughs> I've seen tools at the hardware store, the round files. Not meant for nails. But they, oh. could, they could get in there. Bad cameraman. <laughs> you do not buy stuff at the hardware store for your nails. Uh, you know how many of my students have said that their husband, he was so sweet, he went down to the hardware store and bought them a Dremel? That is like so bad. Never do that. And that's very nice of the husbands to want to do that. They, they think, oh, I can get you a tool. No problem, I can get a tool for you. Those things are made for like wood and metalwork, not for, not for organic nails. Okay. For me, the big deal is the cuticle area. Now with a system like this, you really can't compare it to a nail technician that has a lot of experience to try to hit all these marks something is going to have to sacrifice. So we've got some sculpted nails right out of the gate that's already done for you. The shaping is already done, which is two of the most very hardest things to do, which is shaping and sculpting to perfection. That's all taken care of for us. So the cuticle's an issue. Right now, I gotta tell you, if I polish these, they're gonna look beautiful. Where you're gonna see a little bit of a problem is when it grows out a little bit. But you could just take a file, you could do it now even, and just soften the cuticle a little bit. Now I'm gonna to wanna to rough these up a little bit too because I'm gonna to wanna to put a color on them. So all you have to do is just try to get in there and soften that cuticle, the extra gel that's kind of squished out. You could simply try to file that. Now, what do you do when they grow out, right? You get these beauties on, you polish them up, they're gonna look great. But a couple of weeks when they start to go away from the cuticle, if you don't know how to sculpt them and put all that stuff in there and fill it, that's why these come in handy. You can soak them off. Once you soak them off, you clean up your nail and you just reapply exactly how I showed you just now. Pretty cool. Okay, so I am going to buff up the cuticle, make sure that they're nice and flush. So I'm just cleaning up the cuticle. That's my pet peeve. I just like a nice, smooth cuticle. You can do this with a hand file. I'm just doing it with the ease of a of an e-file. Okay, so now I'm just gonna finish buffing the surface of the whole thing and to put some gel polish on them and we'll check out those reveal shots. Well, I must say that is one quicker way, or if you don't have the skills, to get a beautiful coffin nail. I just cleaned up the cuticles a little bit, and uh, that took care of the problem that I had a concern with, but the shape is beautiful. And they have lots of shapes too. Check on their website, you can get, this is the coffin one, but they have lots of different other shapes, which takes a lot of the work out of it for you. I wanna thank Apri Nails for sponsoring this video, and if you're interested in creating this beautiful set of nails, you can find the links below. Thanks for joining me in this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.